Hello there everybody and welcome back to video number three with me Biggie the Hunter. Now what we are going to be doing today is testing out this new piece of gear I've just acquired which is the new Leaf full ghillie suit. This looks rather fetching if I do say so myself. Um, so yeah we're going to try this out today and as you can see we're uh, we're in Hirschfelden. Um, and what we are going to be doing is going out and seeing how close we can get to these animals. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to try and test it on a few foxes because they seem to see me a mile off at the moment, even in the 3D sneaky full forest camo. They still see me from about 30 meters, um, so that's no good. And I just want to see whether or not this thing is going to make any difference. And again, as always, we're in the sexy shades. Uh, we'll take the 300, the recurve bow for a bit of fun. And uh, I think what I'm going to go for mainly in this video is the red deer. And use the recurve on them. Because uh, I've not done a lot with this. Uh, so we'll see how I get on with that. And I'm sure you'll all be laughing at me by the end of it. Because I'm bound to be rubbish. I've had a few good shots with it, but nothing really to, uh, nothing really to shout about. Um, and we'll take the tree stand just... Uh, yeah, just in case. Uh, we've got the jackrabbit cooler, just in case we see any foxes. The red deer, the roe deer, for obvious reasons. And we'll take some ammo for everything as well and see how we get on. So let's get on with it. Now I started down in my tent, which is right down in sort of what I like to call red deer area. Oh, it's Straight away there we've got a fox call. So this could be a this could be our first little test then for the for the new ghillie. And see how we get on with it. Plop myself down here. And we'll just see how close this fox gets. I'm not gonna move. Just point myself in the right direction. We may get something coming from another area. We might have them. That seems to be the way with the foxes. You get more than one coming. They've always got to be on your guard. And Mr. Fantastic Mr. Fox coming in and catching you off guard. So, yeah, we'll just wait here for a minute and really just do a little bit of uh, little bit of testing on this new gear and see if it does anything. See if it's any better than the the, uh, the 3D full. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky camo. So we'll just wait here for five minutes and wait for this uh, this little one to turn up. Okay, so here comes the fox running in. 34, 32, 31, 29, 26. And it's seen me. Has it still seen me? So that was surprising. That surprised me. I thought it would get closer than that. I think he's going to run. Oh, sh yeah, he's going to run. No, he's not going to run. So, that didn't get as close as I thought. I mean, that is close. That is close. I mean, 20, what was it, 27, 28 metres? I mean, you should be able to take a fox before it gets that close. But I thought maybe it may just give you a better... So, uh, male 13. Yeah. yeah, I thought it might just get them in a little bit closer. But um, I suppose if you want them really close, you can always use your tree stand. But, um, hmm. Slightly disappointed with that, but never the never the matter, never the mind. We'll we'll continue on. Oh, and just so you know, this was bad of me, wasn't it? This is where I start here. I got my tent way, 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 way down in here. And what I've also got over here is my tree stand. Oh, sorry, my um, my my stand over here. And I think what we're just going to do today is we're just going to have a little mosey over from there to there. Probably then take a little bit round into here. Or maybe that way up to that stand, depending on what we get. But I do tend to find quite a few reds in this area here. 
obviously not going outside the map, but in this area here there's definitely reds. And usually you've got something mulling around in this little bit here as well, so uh, we'll have a little walk over uh, and see what we end up uh, see what we end up finding. Hopefully we'll get a red call in a minute, and uh, and hopefully it'll be a male as well, because that would be nice to try and take one of them out with a recurve. Okay, guys. So as you can see over there, there's my deployable tower, just there. But I'm going to bypass that for a second because I have found a red deer track that I've been following for a little bit so, and it's on its own so potentially it's going to be a male. Um, we're going to walk on this way see if we can find him. If it's a him, it might be a her, I never know. We'll see see what we come up with. Uh, generally there is something in this area I find. I came down there quite a few times and uh, that's 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 why I put my my tower there because I thought well I'm seeing things here quite a bit and I suppose if it didn't do the job I could have always taken it down um, there's the other track there but um, yeah I, I, I think we'll bypass that for a second and just go and see what we've got over here, we've got another track here, which is a 155 to 205. That, that sounds more female to me. But you never know. But I have been calling as well, and I nothing seems to be calling back yet, so it might be a way off. And as you can see from the hunter mate, I don't get readings yet on the time except for on the on the poo when you pick up the poo that does give me a reading on the time but I haven't at the moment got it when I pick up a track so we'll continue following this one for a minute because I think it could end up maybe being a, a stag which would be nice and I will and I'm not going to bottle it doesn't matter how big it is I'm not going to bottle it I'm going to use the recurve so this should be fun Okay guys, so as you can see, I have finally caught up with him. I'm pretty sure it's him anyway. Um, I'm going to get down to this tree here. I'm not sure how much cover this is going to give me actually. Please say I'm camoed up. Please say I'm camoed up. Uh, that's not good. Um, Go back this way a bit. Keep calling him in. Come on, buddy, this way. Oh, there he is. Okay, so that is the one I was tracking. And we'll have a look here, as you can see on the hunter mate. It's been quite a tracking session. Took me on a little bit of a run around, but. There he is again. Yeah, that's right. Come on. You come this way. Get yourself over here. I've got to go and hide myself in the trees, otherwise you'll see me. Come on. This way. Come on. That's a bit annoying. I was hoping that was going to cover me there, but... Hopefully if we just get down inside these trees, that should... should give me a bit of... bit of cover. Okay, so here he comes. I've managed to get myself back into what is camo covered area. So I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. We'll give him a call and bring him in. Now he's not the biggest, but it's certainly worth taking. You'd take that any day of the week. He's certainly worth taking. 190 to 285. He's, he's certainly nowhere near that top score. Um, but he's still not bad. Here's something. No. Nope. He's, yeah, he's not a bad looker. He's definitely, definitely smaller on here. Not a bad little find. 
Although I was in uh, Val de Val de Bois. I'm sure, it's Val de Bois. They said Val de Bois. I'm sure that's how they say it. Um, earlier on today, with a couple of friends, and managed to take a 270, which was my biggest by far. And the chap that I was out with, he was very, very gracious and said, "Yep." Yeah. Before he'd even seen it, he said, "Yep, yeah, you can have it," um, which was really good of him. Um, because it was it was a nice big one. and if you go down to the if you go into the description as well the Twitter is there and if you go there you'll be able to see it as well it it was yeah it was pretty massive I mean my biggest was two four six so to come and see a two seventy coming over the uh, over the ridge was quite uh, it was quite nice because I've done a lot of red hunting don't you smell me no you didn't. So yeah, that was that was a nice one, and it was ever so nice of my friend to to let me have him. Oh, you're kidding! Oh, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, so right, brilliant. Well, I suppose we're going to track him then. Okay, so I just track this guy. Just come up on a roaming track, or two roaming tracks prior to this one. And if you just look to the top right of this little green marker here, through those trees, you'll see him. So, although I said I was going to try recurve, I think I might just use roaming. So if he stops, I'm going to use the 300. The good old 300. happens this happens don't judge me here we go this is the shot no it's not no it's not sorry I won't shoot unless I know he's not gonna run or if I think he's not gonna run anyway come on dude oh he's coming back I'm not gonna risk it guys I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take it come on keep coming keep coming a little bit more that'll do here we go. There we go. We got him. Let's go over and let's go over and get him. Finally. And there he is. All that time for you, buddy. See, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's pretty. Uh, yeah, he's pretty average. But he's, you know, that's that's a lot of what you see. With these red deer, especially on Hirschfeld, I've not seen. I've seen more big ones on uh, Valdebar than I have on here. But uh, yeah, he's not bad. Let's see what he scores quickly. Long shot, left lung, right lung, liver. One nine five. See, that's yeah, that's, that's pretty okay. Not a bad one. But uh, we tracked you for a long time, mate. So glad you were an okay score in the end. Right, let's just have another little mosey off and see if we can't find something else. I did get a, a female call from back over this way, actually, so as, as long as that rifle shot hasn't spooked her, which it probably has, I'm, potentially, um, we might have something else over here. So, uh, let's see, see if we can't go find us another one. Try and get this recurve in action, at least once, anyway. I'd like to try and use that a little bit. I haven't used. How do you guys find that? How do you guys find the recurve? Because I, I have the recurve and I have the longbow. Longbow, stupidly hard, but good fun. Um, and the recurve, again, good fun, but I'm really, really not very good at it. And I have seen a few, uh, few videos recently of uh, some, some long, yeah, longbow shots. And I, I can't, I can't get anywhere close to what these guys are doing with the longbow or the recurve. I suppose it all comes with time and practice, but sort of one of those speciality weapons that, suppose you don't, you don't go to, you know, very often. So 
like I say, my skills aren't particularly high on that either, so. We'll just see if there's anything else in the mixer over here. Make our way over towards... Make our way over towards this bridge as well. Uh, sorry. Um, make our way over to here and potentially come up this way as well. Um, and have a look about there. But. Oh, and as you can see there, there is a goose set up there as well. I have just purchased some more geese decoys as well. Because I only had a... What did I have? A, I think it was a quarter set and a blind and it didn't seem to do too well. And actually I had it set in this field here. Um, and I was advised by a couple of friends to move it here. And I've had bigger... And have a bigger... Uh, sorry, a bigger... Uh, spread of geese decoys as well so that will be a video at one point as well and I'll probably bring a friend along for that one um, because it's nice to be able to have somebody using the flapper whereas your flapper and the long range short range um, you seem to get better results uh, but yeah we'll make our way up this way and see if we can't find anything else oh, and looky what we have over here another red deer Seems to be a bit spooked, he's doing that funny thing with his leg. But he's in a nice spot as well, so let's see if we can get a call on him. It just, I think when they do that leg thing, you know, where they bring it up a bit, I think that's where they're, they've been spooked and they're looking around, which is, to be fair, is that uh, rifle shot, obviously. Um, we'll be careful here and just try and get him to come over. Oh, don't disappear beyond the trip. Don't do that. Come on. Alright, he's there. If I can get there quick enough, we might be able to go for a long shot. I thought it was a road here to start with. There's a little bit of space there up on the right hand side of the. So we go. Yeah. Let's try this. It's going to be a long one. Let's try this. He's going to move. Good lad, you stay there. That's right. Oh, yes. Oh, where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Lovely. Oh, oh that wasn't too bad. That's uh, 128-ish. Let's uh, run over there quickly and go and get him. Okay, here he is. Bit smaller than the last one by the looks of things. But again, you're pretty average red deer. Wouldn't be disappointed if you had one of those. Especially if you're out there first time hunting them. So, uh, yeah, he's not bad. Let's have a look, see where we got him. Left lung, right lung. Not a bad shot. 182 kilos, no wound time. 161 scored. Not too bad, not too bad. Mm. Well, that was nice, wasn't it? That was all right. He'd obviously been spooked, but... Not run far enough, mate. You're going to have to run a lot further from Biggie to stay alive, I'm afraid. Pick this track up quick, see what it is. Oh, another red deer. Uh, hang on, what size? What was that? What did it say? 190 to 240... Hmm. Uh, to be fair, I'll probably spook that in anyway, so. Let's leave that one and I'll have a... We'll get over this bridge and go over to those um, those other stands and see if there's anything hanging around over there that wants to party. Okay, so we've just had another call from what is supposedly a rediscovered... Oh, and I think I see it. There. Oh, that's a bit better. And he's calling, so let's get him over here. Your turn, pal. I'm going to get up on this little high bit here. Okay. Again, I'm not sure whether to. I don't know whether to risk going for the for the recurve because I think the reason that first one spooked was I was upwind from it. I think. 
Oh, so I think that's why he ran. So I have got some cover here as well. There he is. Have another look here quickly. But it does see it's a, a rediscovered track, so I'm not sure what the crack is there, but what's that reading? Two ten, two forty, one six five to two five five. So you can take some pretty big numbers off of those there, because my skills obviously aren't as high as they could be. But he's not a bad. He's not a bad looking one, really. To see if he responds to the call. I hope he does. I don't think. Uh, 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 no, not fancy it, mate. Come on. Right, there we go. Right, so he's coming this way. So if we're going to recurve, we want to go forest. Look, I'm going to get myself set somewhere in here. I'll be back momentarily. He's coming. He's coming this way. Everybody shush. I'm going to recurve this one. He's gone behind the tree and I can't see him. Where have you gone? Okay, so looking at these leaves, I'm in the right position because the the wind is coming towards me ish. But he's gone behind the trees and I can't see the bugger. He's in here some Oh there he is. Did you start to walk away? Did you try and walk away from Biggie? Get yourself over here, mate. Let's have a party. Come on. Right, recurve out. Here we go. Oh, crap, he's seen me. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Don't run. Please don't run. No, 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 no. Please don't run. I'm not moving. I'm quiet. Camo's on. Okay, here he comes. So I've got to be quick about this. Ready? Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Woo! So what? My heart is going. And it's not even a big one, but my <laughs> my heart is going. You don't find many games that do that for you. And hey, recurve shot. And down in one with what looks like lung slash heart blood. Let's have a look at the rack here. See, that's a little bit, that's a bit better. You see the top of the rack there where you get the, the spines coming off? Obviously where they join to the, the main, uh, whatever you want to call that there, the... Uh, the main antler there. You've then got these three coming off the end here. Now that's what you want to look for, but then as well also what you want to look for is the the smaller ones coming off of that. Oh, I've got a call here. What is that? Oh, oh it's collecting him. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, you want to look for the smaller ones then coming off that as well. Um, but he's coming in at 211. That's a nice red deer as far as I'm concerned. If you can go hitting those, I'd hit those all day. That would be a nice hunt for me. I would enjoy something like that. So yeah, that's uh, that's not bad. So we went through the shoulder blade and the right lung and the liver as well. So, I mean, it was a close shot, obviously, but got some penetration there as well. Two hundred and ninety key, uh, sorry, two hundred thirty kilos. Um, so yeah, that's a that's not a bad deer. Not a bad deer at all. Thank you, mate. That's uh, thank you very much. You made the video. You're famous forever. Ah, oh, happy with that. That's good. We got the recurve shot. Um, yeah, so I think, guys, I think I'm just going to leave that one there. And 
because we've had what three big males red deer and we've also had the fox right at the start as well so i mean as far as the new camo gear the new um the 3d full ghillie i think i'd have to give it another go and just see you know the fox came in a little bit further than the others have in the past which is you know thumbs up the red deer did see me to, uh, to start with but then went down and obviously didn't then got back up and didn't see me right until the last minute so i suppose yeah it works it's good and it's nice to have a ghillie suit on hirschfelden as well which actually gives you some camo because i am a big fan of the ghillie suit so it's nice to see that um, see that being able to be used on here as well which is nice. So yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this one. I did. I know it was a bit... Uh, we had a couple of spooks and we had a couple of problems. But, you know, that's the hunter. That's the game. That's what happens. So, um, I'll collect that pheasant quickly. Um, yeah, that's what happens. So, uh, I enjoyed that one. And finally, we did get our recurve kill right at the end. Um, so if you like the video, guys, just give it a thumbs up. Really, really helps. Well, it will help me in the future as well, getting more people onto this channel. And if there's anybody you know that likes the Hunter, get them on here. Let them have a look, see what they think. Uh, also, as I said earlier, I had that nice red deer over in Val de Bois as well, which is on the Twitter. Uh, so the description will be in this video. So head over there, give me a follow, you know, and have a look at some of the bigger animals that I've killed. And, uh, yeah, hopefully soon I'll be able to do a video where I'm actually getting some really big ones uh, for you on film, which is really the... The aim is to have nice, nice videos with big animals for you, so you can see what uh, see what the big ones are like. But yeah, so thank you for watching the video, guys. Really, really, really appreciate you stopping by and having a look. It means the world. Even with just a few of you coming over and having a look, it means that I'm making a video that people are watching, which gives you a hell of a buzz and is really, really exciting. So yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more. Then subscribe if you want to. No pressure. Doesn't matter if you want to keep checking the channel out. You know, every now and then to see if it's something you're into. Totally understand that. I've done myself, done that myself. So, um, yeah. So that's all there is to it, really, guys. I mean, it's uh, this one's been fun, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I shall see you on the next one. And just put down anywhere, you know, Twitter or on here, as to what you want to see, uh, and what you know, what animals and what videos and what weapons and what you know, this, that, and the other you want to see. Uh, and I shall see if I can provide for you. Um, thanks ever so much, guys. Um, wish you guys well in your hunts as well. And if you want to tweet me any pictures of anything big you've got, feel free. Uh, and I shall see you on the next video. I've had really good fun, guys. Um, and I shall see you next time. See you later.